Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today we're going to be checking out some high-end emulation on the most powerful NUC that Intel has ever released. This is known as the Intel 12 NUC Extreme, codenamed Dragon Canyon. And so far, I've done a couple videos on it. We showcased some 4K PC gaming with Windows 10. I also installed Linux on it, and performance there is also amazing. But this one is going to be strictly dedicated to emulation. Now, for the specs we have here, we should be able to run basically anything. I mean, it handles PC gaming at 4K over 60. Everything that I've thrown at it has worked out really well, including gaming on Linux using Proton, otherwise known as Steam Play. So I get a good feeling that it's going to handle emulation quite well, but before we jump into the testing, I do want to mention that this was sent over by Simply Nook, and they're actually running a giveaway right now on an exact replica. Well, actually, it's a little more powerful because it's got a 3080 Ti, and this one here has a 3080. So yeah, Simply Nook is partnering up with Intel to give away a fully loaded Intel NUC 12 Extreme. This is known as the Dragon Canyon, and they're also going to be throwing in a Cherry Mouse and Keyboard. We'll take a quick look at that in a second. But if you're not familiar with Simply Nook, they specialize in all things mini PC, from business applications to gaming PCs. Obviously, we've got an awesome little gaming PC here. They were founded in 2015, and their headquarters are right here in the United States in Round Rock, Texas. And yeah, they're going to be giving away an exact replica of the one we're going to be testing out in this video. And right off the bat, just judging by the specs, this thing is going to be able to run anything you throw at it. All the information you need to enter is linked in the description. They are the only ones that are going to contact you. Nobody will contact you in the comments of this video if you're a winner. This is all going through a third-party giveaway site known as Gleam, and there's several ways to enter. And along with the fully loaded Intel NUC 12 Extreme, they're going to be bundling it with a Cherry MX 3.0S gaming keyboard and a Cherry MC 3.1 gaming mouse. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, all links are in the description. And again, I can't stress it enough. If you are a winner, you will not be contacted in the comments of this video. There's a lot of scams going on right now. Everything's going through Gleam. When it comes to the specs of the unit we're taking a look at in this video, for the CPU, we've got that Intel Core i9-12900. 16 cores, 24 threads. We've got a max boost of 5.1 GHz on the performance cores and 3.8 GHz on the efficiency cores. We've also got 32GB of DDR4 running at 3200MHz, and this is in dual channel. A 512GB NVMe SSD. And for the giveaway unit, it's going to be using an EVGA GeForce 3080 Ti XC3, but I've got the EVGA RTX 3080, so on the giveaway unit, it will have a little bit more GPU power. And for the operating system, this is running Windows 10 Home out of the box, but you always have the option to upgrade to Windows 11, or you can install Linux if that's your thing. But in this video, we're strictly testing out high-end emulation, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. First up, we've got some original Xbox using the XEMU emulator at 2x resolution. There are easier to emulate games that'll work well on low-end hardware with this emulator, but uh, when it comes to this specific game, Sega GT 2002, I've tested it on a lot of different systems. High-end Ryzen APUs, high-end Ryzen CPUs, and high-end Intel CPUs, and really, the best performance I've ever seen was out of Alder Lake. Beat an i5, i7, or i9, and with this system here, we've got that 12900, so it's running really well. I also wanted to test out the CXBX Reloaded original Xbox emulator, because in my experience, this one is a bit easier to run on different systems. And lower resolutions are always easier to run, but, you know, we've got that 3080 in here, so it's handling DOA3 at 4K, no problem at all. Moving over to some Xbox 360 using the Xenia emulator, we've got Red Dead Redemption, and I left V-Sync on because no matter what system I try to run this game on, I just can't get a constant 60 out of it. In a lot of situations, it is at 60, but uh, unfortunately it really comes down to the optimizations to the emulator itself. So this game here is more suited to run with V-Sync on at 30 FPS, but uh, we do have a lot of games that are going to be fully playable at 60 and over with V-Sync off. And I gotta say, Forza 2 is still a really fun game to play, and it doesn't look bad at all. Yeah. 
Of course, we had to see how well it handled PS2 emulation at 4K, so here it is using PC SX2, and by the way, I'm using 1.7. As of making this video, it's in beta, but it does have some really awesome new features. I chose to just use the OpenGL backend because we've got an NVIDIA GPU, and uh, at 4K with one of the harder ones to emulate, we're good to go at 60. And since I'm here, I figured I'd go ahead and test one more, Soul Calibur 3, and with this at 4K, it does look like a totally different game. Here's SimU for some Wii U emulation, and it does work out really well on this setup. Bayonetta 2, 4K, Vulcan back in, I also tested Breath of the Wild, and we're able to run that at 60fps, upscale to 4K with no issues. Here's PS3 using RPCS3, 4K, Vulcan back in, Demon Souls running at full speed. Now when it comes to the RPCS3 emulator, there's still some games that give any system a run for its money, like God of War 2. That's just one of those games that's not fully compatible with the emulator yet, but if you head over to the RPCS3 website and check out their compatibility list, as long as it's listed there as playable, this system's gonna run at no problem at all, including Skate 3. 4K again, Vulcan back in, really amazing performance, and like I mentioned at the beginning, I've had really good luck with Alder Lake CPUs and basically any emulator that I throw at it. I also ran three games with a Yuzu emulator, unfortunately for reasons I usually don't show this gameplay off, but using the Vulcan back in with the latest version of Yuzu, I tested Odyssey, Got 60 FPS. Now, right in the beginning, you will get a couple dips here and there with shaders caching in the background. Same thing goes for Sword and Shield, and even Luigi's Mansion ran at 60 4K Vulcan back in on this system. I mean, we definitely have plenty of power for all of these emulators. So going into this, I'm sure a lot of you already knew we were going to get some really amazing performance when it comes to high-end emulation on the Dragon Canyon. I mean, we've got that i9-12900 paired up with a GeForce RTX 3080. For PC gaming, it'll run anything at 4K over 60, and as you saw with emulation, it does an amazing job. I mean, this has definitely turned out to be one of my favorite mini PCs or small form factor PCs that I've ever tested. And if you're interested in checking out the PC game performance or Linux performance, I'll leave links to those videos in the description. And don't forget that Simply Nook is running a giveaway on one of these. It's actually a little higher end, because in this we've got the RTX 3080, but in the one they're giving away, it's got a 3080 Ti. So you will get a little better GPU performance out of that one. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.